A very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. Australian shares are set to rise this morning and that was despite a choppy day on Wall Street yesterday. ASX futures gained 0.2% overnight to 7,000, pointing to a positive day for the local share market. The Australian share market did extend its losses in afternoon session yesterday as most sectors lost ground. At the closing bell, the S&P ASX 200 was 0.3% or 19 points lower at 7,281. All the sectors closed in the red except for healthcare, which was up 0.9% and consumer staples up 0.1%. Technology was the biggest drag, down 1.5%, followed by energy, which fell significantly after lunchtime, down 1.1%. Utilities were next, down 0.9%, then industrials down 0.5%. Over in the U.S., investors are eyeing inflation and high commodity prices. The three major U.S. stock indexes closed lower for a third consecutive session yesterday, ahead of a key inflation reading and a kickoff to third quarter earnings season. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.3 percent. The S&P 500 lost 0.25 percent and the Nasdaq dropped 0.1 percent. Selling picked up just before the U.S. close. In local business news, Transurban has completed its retail entitlement offer, raising gross proceeds of approximately $1.06 billion from the issue of approximately 82.1 million securities at $13 per share. This represents the final stage of Transurban's $3.97 billion entitlement offer that was announced on the 20th of September. Approximately 28.6 million new securities were offered for sale under the retail book build. These were sold at a price of $13.30 per security, $0.30 cents per security premium over the issue price of $13. NIB and ING are to become partners in health. NIB Health Funds today announced a new distribution partnership with the ING Bank Australia that will allow Australians to purchase ING health insurance underwritten by NIB. NIB Chief Executive Australian Residents Health Insurance Ed Close says that ING joins an established lineup of white label partnerships which have contributed so strongly to NIB's long track record of above industry policyholder growth. And PointsBet Holdings today announced that its wholly owned subsidiary PointsBet Canada has entered into an agreement to become the official and exclusive sports betting partner of Curling Canada. The long-term partnership will allow PointsBet to offer exciting and innovative ways for fans to engage with Curling Canada events. As part of the agreement, PointsBet will also become a title sponsor of a Curling Canada Season of Champions event. That begins in the 2022 to 23 season. Over 30 million people watch Curling Canada's events each season on some of the highest rated sports programs in the country. Well, now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news affecting today's markets. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Kalkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Kalkine TV. Welcome back. You're watching the Morning Outlook Report on Kalkine TV live from Sydney. I'm Rachel Jones. Let's take a look at some commodities now. Iron ore prices fell on Chinese steel demand uncertainty, and that's amidst ongoing power cuts. Copper prices ended lower as surging energy costs stoked fears of slower demand growth. 
gold did gain, and that's despite a firmer U.S. dollar as inflation fears advanced and weighed on risk appetite. Oil prices ended mixed after a volatile session as surging prices stoke inflation and slower economic growth fears. Yesterday, the International Monetary Fund warned that the global economy's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic is becoming constrained, and it cut growth outlooks for the U.S. and other major industrial powers. The IMF cut global growth this year to 5.9 percent from 6 percent previously, citing supply chain bottlenecks and inflation risks. 2022 growth forecasts were maintained at 4.9 percent. Taking a look at currencies now, the Australian dollar was flat and worth 73.51 US cents. Over in Europe, the Pan-European Stock 600 index closed flat, the DAX fell 0.3% and the FTSE dropped 0.2%. That's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.